All right, tell me how she's doing now. She's actually doing fantastic. Like, like what you're seeing right now, we haven't seen in almost two months. Um, she is eating. She is going to the bathroom. She is moving. She is trying to jump. Come on, boo-boo. Get on up there. She's still... This, now, what you're looking at is the way she was before. Right. She got sick. This is how she walks. This is how she was before she started having the seizures. Exactly. This is what you're seeing is how she walks. Um, and then she tires out extremely easy. She has had two episodes. One was this morning, and they're still just as severe, but they're not seizures like what we would give phenobarbital. They're the, uh, what I call stomach seizures. Um, and it's only happened twice. This morning, she got up, she ate her tomatoes, and she ate her bananas, and then I guess she got a gas pain because it, she went limp as a, I mean, just totally limp. Almost quit breathing. You couldn't feel the heartbeat. It's, it gets so low. Um, she holds her breath because if as soon as you blow in her mouth, she'll gasp and get her breath back. That lasted about maybe a minute or two. Well, actually, about two or three minutes. Yeah, and then she came out of it, and she's been fine. And she's only had one, two of those this entire week since she put her on twice since she put her on the medicine. And now she is doing what squirrels do. She goes to the bathroom regularly. She eats. She drinks. She's a happy baby now. A very happy Dun -dun. That was a freaking miracle drug. <laughs> we, ain't seen a, we ain't seen a bushy tail. We ain't seen poop. We ain't seen pee in weeks. I mean, or I should say months. Two months at least. She is back to eating the things that she likes to eat. Excellent. Oh, but well, still, just no, 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 no muscle. I mean, that was. What well, she that's going to take her a while to get that back. Well, I mean, that's this is how she was when she was born. When she got big enough to start walking, this is how it is. This is how right. it's been like this. This is a few month old squirrel. Um, had came in as a referral with seizures. Uh, was on phenobarb. Uh, when I saw it, it was pretty much lateral, not moving much. It could not move its back legs, or it was moving them just uh, quite a lot, bit of bit, bit of ataxia. Uh, I decided to be a good guy and take some free x-rays um, and from there we saw a bunch of gastric or you know stomach gas and internal gas and at that point in time I decided it was time to do a fecal. On the fecal we noticed we had a lot of large gram positive rods that usually means a clostridial species or some kind of a gas producing bacteria. Um, we started them on some antibiotics to get rid of that and some anti-inflammatories and now I think mom's actually happy with me. Yes, I am. <laughs> My baby is fine now. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'm going to redo that fecal today and make sure we're getting those organisms under control and it looks like most of those seizures might not have actually been seizures but actually gastric cramps. Mm -hmm. I've had them but I don't think I've ever shaken and bust my throat was in a seizure before. I used to just say, honey, i got to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I think she wished she could have said that, too. All right, I'm All right, this is our squirrel that we saw a few weeks ago, bouncing around the cage. It turns out that she actually went to uh, another veterinarian to get a refill of some medications, and this is just how strange you veterinarians can get. I sent home a wee little bottle of less than half an ounce of meds, and then they gave her this humongous amount of meds here. So according to my calculations, you would have to give three times the dose of this uh, this formulation, which is too big for the squirrel's stomach to get the same effect. So today we're going to make a whole new bet. Um, but what's funny is you can actually tell the difference between the old old squirrel and the new squirrel. Well, wait a minute. This should not be the new squirrel. Anyway, so we're going to try the new meds all over again, see if we can make a difference. Um, and hopefully the next uh, next video we see this guy will be her bounce around like she was the last time. So anyway, we're... Uh, we're still hanging in there. This is one of those really cool cases where if we figure this out, we could probably save thousands of squirrels in the future, so I'm just leaving it at that. What a cutie. Yeah. And I'm gonna make the disclaimer for those who are watching this, I did not put the squirrel on this lady's chest. <laughs>
This is her favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> so if my wife is watching, honey, it was not my fault. <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> but she is so cute. This is her bed. You <laughs> spend a lot of time sleeping here with mama. All right. So we'll see how the new medication works. So far, so good. Let it ride. All right, now that we've uh, utilized our most beautiful of pharmacies, dun, 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 and found out we have the vet uses, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> people who watch these videos know I'm crazy, so you can, <laughs> you can laugh, it's fine. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is the difference in, uh, in pharmacies. When it comes to wildlife or any small animal, you got to keep in mind that the volume that goes in the stomach is really, really important. So this here would be half a mil for two weeks of the medication for this patient. <laughs> this here, I have not pulled it out to measure it, but it would be more than the average squirrel stomach can hold just to get that same dose in there. And then, and even in doing that, the referring vet did not put on there that he had to give three times as much. So this cute little girl right here has actually not been doing so well. And we think it, uh, well, we're hoping it's just basically the antibiotic dose. Anyway, from there back to here, this is why Pharmacy and compounding is so important. So for any pharmacists out there, please do not take my job from me because you can't do any better. Love you. Bye. <laughs>